Hello everyone, this is Marky Joe 1990 and uh, today I wanted to uh, bring to all of you the attention of a uh, recent edit that I found. Uh, this one was made by Atsuki, I believe, or whatever his name is. And you might recognize this racing for being the same one used by Game Freak 202020 in his uh, videos whenever he uses racing. <clears throat> and uh, I just wanted to uh, test her out a bit, maybe review her. Ah, yes. I do believe we all know who I'm going to be facing in this video, right? Yes, you are absolutely right. It's Melia! Haha. <laughs> wow. I must be so predictable. Seriously. I mean, everybody expected that, didn't they? <clears throat> anyway, as far as I'm concerned, this racing's playstyle relies a lot on her bullets. You gotta shoot these bullets constantly to keep your enemy from closing in on you. And, oh my god, I am destroying Milia. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you gotta constantly shoot these bullets. You don't want your enemy to get, to get close to you. Um, if they do get close to you, uh, Racing has a reversal that will knock them far back, allowing you to continue spamming your ass off. And you also got a nice grab that seems to have a good priority on it, because it seems that I can always grab Milia without her grabbing me first. <clears throat> anyway, um, she's got, uh, this racing has quite a few good at good attacks, but mainly you're going to be using these bullets because they're really helpful. Um, for one, uh, here's a good setup. Uh, you set up your bullet setup and then you do this sliding move. Um, she has two, she has, um, two versions of the move I, uh, of that sliding kick. And one of them is an overhead punch. Uh, <clears throat> the sliding kick uh, can only be guarded low. Overhead punch uh, when you're gu guarding high. So it basically makes it a bit of a guessing game for your opponent, which is something that racing really should really should be uh, made to play like. Because you know, mind game. She's really a mind game character. Uh, if you base it all on her powers. Anyway, I just felt like fighting Franco, or Franco, uh, however you pronounce it. Whee! <laughs> I took him off guard. Um, this racing also has strikers. See? We got a, we got a Yomu striker. We got a, damn it. We also got a Remilia striker. Ow. Friggin' Shungoku Satsu, my ass. Come on, just hit me already. Up. Oh, oh, shoot. You know what? F off. Let's see. Uh, aside from Striker, she's also got a considerable amount of super. She's got a reversal super. She's got that big-ass beam that I showed you. She also has two Striker-based supers, where she uh, uses her Strikers to help her. Uh, I guess I'll show you it later. Um, she's, she, she's also got a uh, roll, which is really useful. Good for dodging attacks. She could... Be, I think that this character has a lot of good, uh... Cheap busing potential. Though, she... I, uh... I'm not saying that she's cheap. She seems pretty balanced as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> really? Um... Ow. Holy crap. That was not fair. He just pulled a what-the-hell comeback on me. Um... She has a pretty good balance. She's got good keep away game, but up close she just can't fight back whatsoever. <clears throat> I've tried to fight up close, but her range is just too terrible and the damage output just doesn't help. And really you can ju you can only do one uh, very few combos up close. So for the most part your um your your uh style of play is going to be uh, up from afar. And there you go. One of the striker supers. Pretty kick-ass looking. Racing and Yomu. Totally kicking ass right there. Though, I have to ask. Why does she have Yomu and Yuyuko as strikers? I mean, it would make more sense if she had Tui. And, uh, Eren and Kagoya. Maybe even Moku. But not, not, 
not Yomu. She's also got Romilia and uh, Sequoia as strikers, which uh, also does not make much sense. I mean, where the hell did that come from? <clears throat> anyway, I'm just going to continue my spam fest. She's also got a bit of a sure you can type move, which is, uh, hang on. Ow, 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 ow. Boom. There you go. That's the sure you can type move, which I totally missed with. <clears throat> there we go. I got it. Um, she's also got a crouching laser move, which is really meant for um, hitting hitting low on the enemy. Ow, 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 ow. All right. There we go. And we messed up. So let's try it again. Oh, wait. I gotta wait for my... For Romilia to be usable again. Pretty weird way to, uh... Bounce the strikers, but it's still effective. Come on. Ow! Friggin' douchebag. There we go! See, I got him. Awesome. Um... I think I may have, uh, shown this already, but she's also got, a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom-styled rolling... I like the way she rolls, it's really cool. It's like she curls up into a ball. Oh, that reminds me, um, well, here's the rolling, firstly. Whee! It's so fun! <laughs> Racing must be enjoying that. Anyway, um, she also has this move. It's an aerial approach type move. Um, I really haven't found much of a use for it. And really, the stronger version is more useful mainly because, uh... Well, actually, hang on. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Really, the weak version is kind of useless because you can't really use it for anything. It's not really good for starting up combos, and it sort of leaves you uh, open for being counterattacked. Anyway, uh... Yay, rolling. Rollin', rollin', rollin'. Uh, let's see, what else does she have? Alright, she's got a grab. Yay. Really, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard for me to utilize these strikers. Anyway, um... Overall, I really like this racin', and, um, I will be using her as well as the other racin', uh, the Melty Blood Arrange styled one. And hopefully, if I ever find the motivation and, uh and the, uh, desire to do it, I will make my own race in for Mugen. So, uh, keep in touch, everybody. Thank you all for listening. And please favorite it, comment, Marky Joe 1990 uh, blasting off again.